Well, good morning, everybody. I wanted to just kind of walk around a little bit and maybe get some questions answered. I've seen some of these flowers and plants on uh, Mr. Tom's page. And I wonder if y'all can tell me what this is. It's got a bunch of white flowers on it. And it's always got bees on it. Well, Mr. Tom, if you see this video, can you tell me what that is? I've seen it on your place. We have a lot of stuff. I think I've seen it on uh, Southern Boy Preppers, uh, Mr. Bennett. I think he had some. Got still have the blackberry bushes or whatever they're called I don't see any berries on them we're not going to talk a whole lot about the garden today it's kind of still flooded from all that rain we had but this sunlight is bright and it's going to perk it right up but anyway and somebody told me there's another plant here I wanted to ask about this one here is one of them it's kind of long and skinny and it has tiny little baby little purple flowers all over it. That's another one for you, Mr. Tom. And another one that I'm not too sure about. And it might already be dead. I didn't kill it, but I seen a I've seen a little deal on the internet about it and said it was a oh there it is it's way down there it's really really big now they use it I guess the Indians used it for um, a painkiller or some kind of painkiller but this doohickey here I've never seen one get this tall I usually see them real short and I hit them with the lawnmower look how tall that is I'm six foot tall and that's three feet above my head I don't know what it is if you break it, it has a uh, white milky stuff in it. Y'all can see what that is. I don't know what it is. Help me out there, guys. There's another one of those. It's almost like a tree. It's got a pretty good sized stalk on it. It's got a bunch of little white flowers. It's always got bees on it. Of course, this is our honeysuckle. And the honeysuckle's all, well, here's more over here. Here's some that's blooming. Some honeysuckle. Bees like them too. So do the hummingbirds. I've seen hummingbirds flying around them. What? I have not seen very many honey hummingbirds this year. Now, here's another plant. It's like the blackberries, but it's got red berries on it. See all the, well, there's some black ones there. The red berries are a little tiny. We got a bunch of these, but I planted a bunch of seeds. Teresa did a whole bunch of canning for these kind of berries. And I uh, threw a bunch of seeds out here in the ditch from when she did her jellies and jams. So I'm hoping that a lot more come back next year. But here's another one of these, it's real thorny. Even the leaves have thorns on them. This is like uh, five foot tall. I guess it might be a berry bush. I don't know. There's more berries. There's a one that's almost ready to be picked. Ouch. I just got stuck by one of them. They will get you when they're thick like this. There's more. And more berries. Oh, look at look at all the berries. I mean, they're up five foot. But these are tiny. Let's see if I can put my hand there so y'all can see how small they are. But they'll turn black and they're edible. They're real sweet. Well, it's not going to be a very long video today. More berries down here. Pretty red ones. I like the red ones. I like how they look. 
But anyway, look how pretty today is. And we're supposed to have rain today. We're supposed to have rain all this week. It's a little bit breezy out. But today is Sunday. Today is the day that the Lord has made. He has made every day. The fig tree has got quite a few figs on it. Look at the grasshoppers on my fig tree. Blending right in. There's another one. There's one I guess is mating season for the grasshoppers. I don't think I've ever seen this many figs on this tree. It's really producing this year. See them? And we'll make some fig jam with it. Let's go over here and see if my Teresa's beans have started sprouting up yet. She planted the other day. It takes a few days for them to start coming up. But let me see. Oh, yeah. I see one little one coming up right there. There's another one coming up. Oh, no, I don't see any more. Nope, don't see any more. Well, let me tell you what I did. In that pot that the blueberries were in, some of the little blueberries had fallen off and dried up in the bottom of that pot. And I opened them up, and they're full of seeds. So, I took the seeds out, and one of the blueberries that were starting to dry up and split it open, and uh, I planted them. I don't know if they're going to germinate or start growing or not. But, I planted them all in here. We'll see what happens. If they start coming up, I'll let y'all know. And nobody answered my question on this thing. Is it a lettuce? Or is it a spinach? Don't know. Never seen it before. I got my wife a mint plant the other day. Put it in, it in one of little bitty pots. I put it in this bigger pot. It's a sweet, sweet mint. She's going to be happy when she sees that. We're going to have to get out in the, in the bed somewhere. Well, let me show you all something, Mr. Tom. My pole beans have started going past. Remember the other day, this one was way down here. Now it's past. And this one down here. Let's see here. This one down here has gone way away from the pole what do you do with that just let it go I think we got some blooms she's gonna be happy about that you might get her some beans corn is doing really well Whoop, I got a bit of water here I got to step around corn is doing good everything is doing really well tomatoes are doing good like I said next uh, this fall, we're going to raise those boards up to another uh, another landscape timber. I should have done them differently, but like I'm not a carpenter, so. Oh, the squash is getting big. And then there's this little, I don't know if y'all can see them, there's a baby squash there, and one down there and this one's getting to be pretty good size here you see it and the radishes are starting to come up a little bit better I put some nitrogen in the fertilizer we'll see look at this one this one's going up pretty good in the corn pot these little bitty tomatoes that I planted aren't doing worth a hoot. I'm going to have to redo it. You see them, how small they are? But I put some nitrogen in the soil, see what happens. And this one here keeps getting little baby uh, butternut squashes, and then they'll fall off. 
like this one here here's one right here just it was started and it just it just falls off I don't I don't know but we also put some nitrogen in that soil as well anyway guys I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes it looks like I'm already past ten our little snackable bell peppers all right God bless each and every one of y'all thanks for watching and Mr. Tom, uh, if y'all could do, if y'all could answer those two or a couple of questions I have about those flowers, I sure would appreciate it. Anyway, y'all have a good day.